the dirty old long tom. These are a nasty fish. They will try and bite you if they can. Here we go, that is another new species here in Weeper. It's a cracker. Yes. <laughs> here we go, that is a diamond trevally. What a beautiful fish. What a session. Been going for about 20 minutes now, four different species. How good is Weeper? We're on. Yes, baby! Wow. <laughs> what a stonker. You probably can't see it from that close. What an amazing piece of fish. Kind of like sunrise today, we're going fishing. I believe they call this a grunter brim. I'm not sure, I'll look it up when I go home, but here we go, that is another new species here in Weeper. It's a cracker. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Just been hit right by the boat. <laughs> oh no, it's a, it's a dirty old long tom. These are a nasty fish. They will try and bite you if they can. You saw the way he just locked onto the fish grip. You got yourself hooked again, mate. That is a long time. Look at the teeth on that. These guys will bite you. They'll turn around and try and bite you after you release them. Let's get him back in. Ah, uh, sick. Oh my God. We're on. Wow, did you hear that run? Look at this for a beautiful fish. Wow. And look at that. This is a diamond trevally. They're recognized as a sports fish. I think judging from that run, you can see why. Let's get some nice footage on the, on the good camera. If it's still working after falling over. Here we go, that is a diamond trevally. What a beautiful fish. Look how skinny it is. You see down his eyes? What a cracker. Send him back. Here he goes. It's a little bit bewildered, but he's off. Chew, that's sick. Run. Oh, he's upset. We're gonna have to chase it. Listen to it sing. This is fishing. Oh, he's jumping. <laughs> I hope that means it's a queen fish, which will be another new species. Holy, I'm gonna get spooled at this rate. Come on, come here fish.
Getting some line back now. How good is fishing weeper? <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so glad I've come out today. A cracker. I can see a big tail. Oh, it is a beautiful big queen fish. This is gonna be a PB for me. I've only ever caught little baby queen fish on the Gold Coast. This isn't a little baby queen fish. <laughs> Come on, up you come. Up you come. Up you come. Up you come, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> we cheered too soon. We're going to need a bigger net. I think we're going to need a different approach. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> wow. Just. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that is an amazing fish. I'm looking on the timer there, seven and a half minutes, eight minutes to land it. Have a look at this for a fish. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take these grips out of you, mate. If you behave yourself. Show you to the world and then we'll let you go with this wow <laughs> what a stonker you probably can't see it from that close what an amazing piece of fish thank you so much mr queenfish you've made me a very happy man isn't that spectacular should we let him go? Set, see you later. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it is so calm outside and there are some birds working out in the channels and I would be kicking myself if I didn't go out and just have a crack and see if I couldn't get some sort of pelagic, a tuna or a mackerel. So we'll just go out and have a quick troll outside before we come up and explore in this creek. I couldn't excite any pelagics outside, I couldn't find the mackerel or the tuna. Saw a few bust ups but uh, I couldn't get a hook up. So now we're going to go up and we're just going to explore this creek and see what we can find in the creek. Oh, you're working. That's something on the cast. Looks like a new species, Trevally. A little golden Trevally. He's digging deep for a little fish. Jeez, they fight hard. Wow. Look at the colors on this one. See why they call it golden trevally. Yo. Look at the colors on that fish. Isn't it? Isn't it spectacular? We'll get him back in.
another new species. Look at the colour of the brim up here. Chill, chill. Whoa, okay. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to take those hooks out of you if you stop moving. <laughs> Self release. Go. Yet another, yet another species. It's a little brim. I guess that's what you can expect up the creek. <sighs> Back he goes. Uh, exploring up a little creek system in far north Queensland is something that I've dreamed of doing ever since I was a little kid. And now that I'm up here, it's everything that I expected. It's absolutely beautiful. But the fishing up the creek is nowhere near as good as out at the mouth. So what I'm going to do is put the drone up, get a bit of a bird's eye view of this creek, and then we'll shoot back down the creek and head back out to the mouth and see if we can't get onto a few more fish before we've got to call it a day. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Dragonfly, just grab my hand from him sin with me tonight. Seems the bite window has closed. I haven't caught a fish for about half an hour, so I'm about to call it and head back in. But before I do that, I thought I should show you what I've been what I've been using and what my tactics have been, because I'm sure there's a few of you watching that would like to come out and replicate the success that I've had today. So I'll start off with the jackal squirrel. At this one sitting out the back trolling. Uh, and this is what caught the queenfish, uh, caught a couple of the diamond trevallies on this as well. Um, I would say though that casting with the Zeric fish trap out to the side whilst I've been trolling has probably been more successful. I definitely got more hits and caught more fish on the Zeric fish trap. So that was the second tactic. Whilst I was trolling along, I was just casting out to the side and bringing in this Zeric. And uh, yeah, that's what I did, and it was pretty good. So I hope that helps you. Time to head back in now and um, clean up, I suppose. But what a session, fishing off Weeper. Oh, this would have to go down as one of the best fishing sessions I've ever had in my life. So that's really cool. And that was the goal of packing up and traveling Australia, finding places like this and getting to do some fishing like this. So I'm just thrilled that I got to come out here and do this.